Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and today I'm going to take you through some of the latest innovations and launches for upcycling. Now you have downcycling, where you turn a material through the recycle chain into something of less value. You have recycling, where you recycle materials to become another item of similar value. And then you have upcycling, which is my personal favorite, because this is where you take something that would normally be thrown out as waste and turn it into something more valuable. And it's great to see so many innovations coming out in the personal care industry. And it's a really hot trend. Consumers are looking for sustainability in their products that they're selecting. And of course, upcycling is a really easy message to show your consumer you care about the environment by using what would otherwise be discarded as waste. So let's take a look at some of the latest innovations and they go far beyond just coffee grounds as exfoliants, which was where the upcycling concept really started a few years ago. You may have also seen my video where I take you through a variety of Lasonia exfoliating materials. Let's take a look at some other active and functional materials that you can use in your next developments. First, there is the Micro Powders Nature Soft and Nature Bead range. Now they use upcycled materials from rice bran wax and green tea leaf extract to produce powders which can be used as sebum regulating and sensory control. The ones containing green tea leaf also have anti-inflammation benefits. And then Nature Beads, which are small waxy beads, fantastic for polishing the skin. Next is Jan Decker's Phytic Acid. Now this one's been around for a while, but you may not have realized it is upcycled from defatted rice bran. That's right, they take the waste materials from creating rice bran oil, and they use that waste to create phytic acid, which is a fantastic natural chelating agent. Now let's take a look at some amazing launches from Givadun. First is their Coffee Up, which is a CO2 extraction from used coffee beans. It's got amazing wound healing and antioxidant benefits. Their Omega Blue also uses CO2 extraction from bilberry seeds. The bilberry is normally extracted and used in supplements, while they upcycle the bilberry seeds to create their Omega Blue, which has outstanding skin barrier repair and decreases UV damage. They also have their hibiscus acids. Now they take flowers that have already been extracted and used in food supplements. They then take these wasted flowers and have a proprietary extraction method to get even more out of them. The active they've created has a dramatic whitening effect and more efficient skin exfoliation than lactic acid and glycolic acid. It also has fantastic anti-pollution benefits. Their Vetivine uses extract from roots that are a byproduct of the fragrance industry. And this clever material helps regulate sebum production in normally very dry skin to increase lipid conformation and decrease the appearance of wrinkles. Their Luco Select uses seeds as a byproduct from crushing grapes for wine production. These are extremely rich in epicatechin and catechin and free radical scavengers. Their LucoSelect is fantastic to reduce sensitivity from UV exposure. Next, let's take a look at the Carl Wax range, and they use byproducts from the food, perfume, and even tea industries. Carl Wax Orange is a byproduct from the food industry, and this creates a beautiful wax that can help stabilize oil and water emulsions and has a naturally uplifting aroma. Carl Wax Rose is a byproduct from the fragrance industry. It has a beautiful consistency similar to beeswax and can help boost a creamy feeling in your emulsions. And of course, it's got its trademark rose aroma. Carl Wax Jasmine is another byproduct from the perfume industry. It provides fantastic moisture protection benefits and skin softening benefits to formulas and has a beautiful jasmine aroma. Finally, Carl Wax Tea is a byproduct from decaffeination of the tea industry. And this wax helps boost the creaminess of emulsions. 
Next, let's take a look at some actives from Lasonia. And remember, they have their amazing upcycled exfoliation range from a previous video. Their C plus ceramide is a wheat seed byproduct and it has fantastic skin hydration and barrier protection benefits for softer and smoother skin within days. They also have their Fuco Reverse, which is a co-product from Algae Bio Refinery. And this has fantastic anti-wrinkle activity. Next is the Borealine range from Lucas Meyer Cosmetics. Their Borealine Aurora uses bark extract to visibly lighten the skin, improve skin luminosity and translucency. It's also great to reduce the appearance of age spots and reduce the appearance of skin redness and yellowness. Their Borealine Expert is another material that is upcycled from tree bark. This is really rich in free radical scavengers to boost elastin and collagen synthesis to improve skin firmness and elasticity and reduce the appearance of wrinkles. And Borealine Protect, also a byproduct from tree bark. It's a fantastic antioxidant specifically for the hair. It helps protect hair color against environmental aggressions, reduces damage caused by oxidation, and protects the hair against UV induced discoloration. Next is the IBR range, also from Lucas Meyer. IBR Calm de Age is upcycled from date seeds. The date seeds are normally thrown out and the pulp used in the food industry. But this clever extract helps visibly reduce skin redness and enhance skin tone and reduces the appearance of dark circles for a more rested look. IBR Herbiotech is a byproduct of the herbal medicine industry. It comes from Ellen Campaign plant aerial parts. Normally only the roots get used and the aerial parts get thrown away. But Lucas Meyer used these aerial parts to create this extract which has fantastic anti-pollution and blue light protection properties. There is also Lime Pearl from Lucas Meyer Cosmetics, and this uses fruits that would not normally meet a food standard grade. So they use an extract from this material for its fantastic desquamation benefits. It helps induce fast exfoliation for a smoother, brighter and more even skin complexion after only 30 minutes. Next, let's take a look at the actives from Akot Evolution. First, let's take a look at Italine B, and this is from upcycled blueberries. It's naturally high in polyphenols and anthocyanins to block blue light induced skin oxidation and improve skin radiance and lightens the skin tone. They have their Italine C, which is an upcycled material from artichoke production and processing. This helps improve skin elasticity and firmness. Their Italine G uses extracts from byproducts of the red wine industry and blend this with cold pressed coffee seed oil to provide an anti-cellulite active that helps improve skin firmness. They have their Italine O, which uses olive mill wastewater and a concentrated extract of olive pomace from the olive oil industry. This of course is rich in biophenols to help protect against skin lipid peroxidation and improve skin radiance and skin tone. And finally, Italine Tea, which uses upcycled materials from tomato processing. They use the skin and seeds to produce their Italine Tea, so it's naturally rich in potent antioxidants to protect the skin and hair from oxidative stress damages, including UV radiation. Now let's take a look at some great active and functional materials from Expansions Laboratories. Now one of their concepts is to use the whole plant and nothing does this better than their avocado production. They use the skin, the fruit and the seed of the avocado so that absolutely nothing gets wasted. They have their active number six. This reduces dark circles and eye bags and improves skin luminosity. They also use avocado peptides to produce epipulp, which has an anti-aging, detoxifying and plumping action on the skin. They also refine the avocado oil for a premium product as well as produce esters of the avocado oil. They also produce avocado powder, which can be used as a sensory agent. They also use this same philosophy with the maracuja plant. They produce the Passioline, which is a skin smoothing ester. 
They have their virgin maracuja oil and they also have their active ormesia with anti-pollution and detoxification benefits. They also have their collagenia which acts as an anti-aging and firming active as an upcycled material from lupin shells. They're like legumes. It's extracted from the shell of the lupine seeds that are not used by the food industry. And finally, their prune oil, which is upcycled from the seeds of plums that would normally be discarded as a byproduct of the food industry. Finally, we have some great active ingredients from IFF as byproducts of the fragrance industry. They have their Wastar Lavender, which provides indoor pollution protection. It helps reduce transepidermal water loss, decreases inflammation and increases luminosity. And their Wastar Pinkberry for scalp soothing benefits. It helps reduce scalp redness and decreases flaking. As you can see, there are amazing materials already out there that have a fantastic upcycled story to go with your sustainability message in your products now and in your next developments. You can contact us for a link to a folder containing more information about all of these materials, but you can also contact your suppliers and ask them what upcycled materials they may have. We're seeing constant launches in this sector of the industry, so make sure you keep your eye out for the latest innovative upcycled launches. I hope you've enjoyed this video summary of where the upcycling ingredients trend is going within the cosmetic industry. Please give the video a thumbs up, please have any questions or comments below, and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating!